Hello people who cannot sit at home. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I have a ridiculously amazing video for you and it's about iced waterfalls in the Hamilton region area. I think many of you know that Hamilton is really well known for their waterfalls, but specifically the best time to see them is in the winter time. What I want to do in this video is to tell you, in my opinion, the very best how to explore three three of the best Hamilton iced waterfalls and you get to only park once. So let's dive right into it. But first things first, I want to talk to you about safety. These traction cleats I got from Dollar Store, Dollarama, for $4 in the beginning of the winter. So over here I'm opening them up and they just go in front of your hiking boot on top of it. Yeah, this is how they look. I was not sure if they would work. Turned out they were actually excellent. And I highly, highly suggest you have one of these spiky soles or really excellent hiking boots if you're going to do this. It's very important because we want to be safe. So over here is us driving. The weather was not the best. It was kind of snowing. But then when we got to Ancaster, the weather improved. Here we are. Here's the map. Sherman and Tiffany Falls. You can also get a map over here. So yes, we are over here at the Arbatan parking lot. I suggest, over here is the map. I suggest you park over there. Uh, it's on Arbatan Road. And then you have three waterfalls that you can hike fairly comfortably uh, without having to move your car. The parking fee was $11 when we were there. So over here we parked the car and I'm just showing you the house across from which you get, you get to take a little path towards the Sherman Falls. From the parking to Sherman Falls, I think it's about maybe three minutes max. It's very close. The icy road over here, you can tell it's not so icy because it snowed recently, so it's okay. But if it were to be less of the snow and more of the ice, definitely it would get pretty slippery. Hence, again, good shoes are a must. But just look at this waterfall. Absolutely gorgeous, definitely, definitely a must see in the winter. I loved how you can still see the water trickling through. So pretty. So this is Sherman Falls. Over here is a little sign about the Red Mill. You can learn about some history. And we are heading towards the Tiffany Falls. And where the black car was, that's the entrance to the Tiffany Falls hike. The hike was not very difficult, but it was about, I'd say, 40 minutes. And we did not rush it because we didn't want to slip and fall, even though it was not too slippery. But we wanted to take our time because this is kind of downward, like in the valley. It did not feel cold. The weather was pretty cold. The windshield was minus 20, but because you were down in the valley, it totally felt great. Over here is the staircase that you need to take up. And here is the parking lot of the Tiffany Falls. You can definitely park over here. Oftentimes you will just need to wait for the person to come back because it's not a big parking, but there's enough. And it's also $11. So over here is a bit of a hike. The hike from the parking lot to Tiffany Falls, I would say is maybe three minutes, five minutes. It's uh, slippery, but not too bad. It's, there is no up and down. It's fairly even. And over here we're getting close and we right away can see all of the ice climbers, which was so much fun. We did not time it. I, I'm not sure when they are there. This was Sunday and they were there. So right now over there you can see the blue lady and the, uh, I think it's a guy in uh, black and uh, the blue lady was so fast. We were there for probably not longer than, I don't know, 10 minutes and she climbed all the way up. Very impressive. And over here, I really quickly would like to tell you about my road trip journal. Uh, I have my summer road trip journal, which is for the spring and summer season. Then I have my fall winter road trip journal for the following seasons. And then I also have our trip journal, which is a really fun book of uh, different arts you can do while being on a road trip. And I'm going to link all of the links to these books down in the description below. So over here, you can tell that sometimes she does take a little bit 
couple of minutes to rest her arm, uh, which of course is only fair. And uh, yeah, she was almost at the very end. It was very interesting to see them do this. Heading to Centerbury Falls, not very far from the parking, and the hike is really nice, pretty safe, and the view is gorgeous. Over here we're going to the Canterbury, and uh, I would say, if I were to choose, I would start with the falls first, because it's on a smaller scale, but it's also very beautiful, and there is a river that runs down. It's just that, of course, after Tiffany and Sherman Falls, it, they are far more impressive. But this waterfall has a much nicer hike because it's almost at the edge of the cliff. And here we are having some well-deserved Thai food at the Bangkok Spoon Deluxe, which is in Dundas. It was not very far. The decor was beautiful. The food was excellent. I highly recommend. And also parking was actually free. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out Hamilton Waterfalls in the winter. They are worth all of the hype and definitely worth to go outside and just explore the nature. Please subscribe, like, and share if you enjoy my videos. And thank you so much. Bye.